Hello everyone, myself Kitti Keshu Dhoi. I am from BJ Medical College, Pune. Today I am going to present one clinical case related to the physiology. What is the case? A 68 year old man visits his physician's office complaining of trembling hands and difficulty in walking. Neurological examination reveals the patient has resting tremors of the left hand which diminishes while performing a task. During passive movements, a left hand muscles are rigid, cogwheel motion during stretching. Patient has diminished facial expressions while with shuffling gait. So now what could be the diagnosis? Here we first go through the summary. What is the summary? Here patient comes to the physician's office. He has problem of trembling hands and difficulty in walking we do we did a neurological examination the uh, results is that he ha he has resting tremors of the left hand which diminishes while performing the task and he has rigid uh, muscles of the left hand with the cogwheel type uh, motion rigidity we are with has diminished facial expressions with shuffling gait so, uh, what could be the differential diagnosis? Uh, here, we have two diagnoses because of the uh, similarity in the symptoms. First is progressive supranuclear palsy and the second one is pro uh, Parkinson's disease. How progressive pro supranuclear palsy and the Parkinson's disease could be eliminated and uh, how we can come to the our definitive diagnosis? Uh, according to me, it is the most probable diagnosis is Parkinson's disease. How do we approach the diagnosis? The There are following points which I am going to discuss. These are first, uh, he has uh, trembling hands and difficulty in walking which are both common in uh, both the disease. And he has resting tremors of the left hand uh, and which diminishes while performing the task. It is the characteristics of the Parkinson's disease and these resting tremors and which diminishes while performing the task are not seen in the progressive supranuclear palsy and he has left hand muscles which are rigid yeah both in the both disease the muscles get got rigid but the type of rigidity is cogwheel type here uh, which is seen in the uh, Parkinson's disease in the progressive supranuclear palsy we we got the clasp knife rigidity what is cogwheel type rigidity here the uh, patient when we say to patient uh, move his hand against resistance uh, he has intermittent yeah, increase in the resistance of the muscle while performing the movement while in the clasp knife there is a only uh, first uh, in the initially there is a resistance offered by the muscles and after that there is a smooth movement that means here we have the cogwheel type uh, cogwheel type rigidity that means we have the uh, that means uh, our diagnosis is um, uh, somewhat correct but here the which the additional point which confirms our diagnosis is he has diminished facial expressions with the shuffling gait what is shuffling gait uh, the patient uh, is um, is not able to maintain his posture so he uh, straight posture so he uh, he has a what stoop posture and um, a small he makes small step while walking it it confirms our diagnosis that it is parkinson's disease only not the progressive supranuclear palsy so yeah here we they have showed us image which showing the uh, patient Car cartoon it is a kind of cartoon which is showed uh, in the uh, in the uh, picture which uh, which is which confirms that he has facial diminished facial expression and shuffling gait so here we confirm our diagnosis that uh, that patient is suffering from the parkinson's disease what is the best therapy for that patient um now uh, you know the in the parkinson's disease there is some uh, problem with the basal ganglia that means working of the basal ganglia but the problem mainly is not in the basal ganglia it is mainly present in the somewhere else what where 
in the substantia nigra a kind of structure a present a kind of structure present in the midbrain which controls the activity of the basal ganglia here the uh, substantia nigra contain dopaminergic neurons which uh, are degenerated in the parkinson's disease that means we have the persons have dopamine problem that means there is dop dopamine deficiency so our therapy that means our treatment is should be supplementation of the dopamine but the problem with the dopamine is that it cannot when we inject externally dopamine the dopamine cannot cross the blood brain barrier because of its kind of structure special structure so we give dopa which can cross the blood brain barrier we have the l dopa which is synthetic dopa uh, which is the uh, drug leo dopa which we give to the patient uh, and this dopa enters into the brain and it is converted into the dopamine which is uh, by the dopa carboxylase enzyme so uh, the uh, deficiency of the dopamine is uh, compensated and a uh, patient uh, patient's brain that means basal ganglia work properly and uh, the administration of the dopa is not enough uh, only because in our body uh, with the uh, basal ganglia with the substantia nigra other structures also pro produce dopamine so they got affected because of the high dopamine level and there are some symptoms like nausea vomiting hypertension so we supplement patient with the some dopa analogs which cannot cross the blood brain barrier but can act on the dopa carboxylate and inhibit it by can uh, inhibit it from converting our l dopa to the dopamine so a peripheral tissue will not uh, synthesize more and more dopamine so we do not we do not have we the patient would do not will not have the high dopamine problem and he will not have it some extra symptoms so the best therapy is administration of the leo dopa with the carbi dopa the dopa analogs carbi dopa is the best treatment for the patient and another best treatment for the patient can be is the l deprinil and the l dopa administration because l deprinil is the substance that means drug which inhibit the monoamine oxidase which um the which de degrade the dopamine inside the brain uh, so this monoamine oxidase inhibited by the l deprinil so our dopamine levels are getting higher and higher and also l dopa which supplements the so we have two better therapies that means administration of the l dopa with carbi dopa and second one is l deprinil with l dopa that means we have two best therapies so thank you very much please like this video thank you thank you so much